Welcome to this video on caption settings in Microsoft Teams meetings. So whether you need extra support or you work or live in a really noisy environment, sometimes live captions can be really useful for us all. And there's some newish functionality on there that I just wanted to go through so you know there's different accessibility options there and different ways where you can change them to make them work for you as we are all different and we all have different needs. So when you're in a Teams meeting, if you don't already know, when you click on the three dots with the word more below it, you'll see more options. And that's the same for any Microsoft Office application. And to get to the live captions, you're gonna to go to language and speech and finally turn on live captions. And remember, this is only visible to you. So unless you're sharing your screen, no one else will see that you have live captions on. When I speak, press to turn live captions on, it's gonna ask me if what language is currently being spoken. There are a number of different options you can select there. So you can scroll down the list and find the one that works for you. Uh, it's already on English UK, which works very well for me. And you can also save that for future meetings. Don't worry if you've selected a different one. You can always change it later on as well. But I'm just going to click confirm. When I do and I start speaking, then you can see the captions appearing on the bottom just for me, not anyone else in the meeting. Now, there's a few changes I can make to these to make these better. I can change the location, the size and the color. So to do that, I'm going to go into the live captions bar at the bottom and I'm going to click in the settings option, which is to the right hand side. And when I do, you can see I've got the spoken language there of English UK again. If I want to change that, then I can go in there and make a change. But actually, it's the caption settings I'm interested in for this one. So when I click on caption settings, I get a box popped up on the right hand side, giving me loads of really useful options. So again, at this point, you can change the spoken language if it changes in the meeting or you've just not been able to do that before this point and you can still save it for future meetings as well. But these styles are really useful because maybe you're in a noisy environment, but maybe you have you need to see the text bigger or smaller or in a different color because it just does not work very well for you. And like I said before, we all have different needs. So you can see a preview of the style on the right hand side. And if I click between the colors, it does automatically change it, but it does give me a preview as well to work with. So I can see what it looks like in the different colors and it stands out a lot more actually in the green the blue does a kind of a little bit and the yellow quite stands out quite well and it just pops out a little bit more for me but everyone needs everyone's needs like i said are really different so you can flip and switch the color you can also change the height i'm currently set for medium but if i need it to be a little bit bigger i can just change the size of the box or i can make it small if i'm just using it for a little bit of extra support just because I might be distracted and I want to really pay attention then I might want to make it a little bit smaller. I can also change the position I can either have it at the top or the bottom whichever one again works best for you. If I flip that to the top you'll see it's just now at the top and anyone with their camera on or anyone sharing anything in the meeting would be shown below the captions and finally you've got different font sizes so I'm set a medium but you can have the font smaller or you can have it large or even extra large. I pressed extra large by accident um, and now I can really see those captions nice and big. So there's tons of options there. Remember when you turn on live captions, if you're not sharing your screen and sharing what your, your meeting screen, then no one else knows you've got it on and you've got some really useful settings there to change the color, the location and the sizing to really make those caption settings work for you so you can interact in the meeting. Have a go at this the next time you need to turn live captions on and please do check out the rest of the videos on this channel and like and subscribe and let me know if there's any other videos you would like me to record.